just been tweeted. Uh, let's see if we can get more retweets of that than Ellen DeGeneres at the Oscars. If someone can do it, Yellow Shirts can. Um, can we get the, the thing up on the screen, if that's okay? Um, what I'd like to start off with today is we're going to do a bit of a uh, the voice style SMS polling. So if you could please SMS to 0407 288 400 whether you think Pony was the best thing ever, if you think that, send uh, 20387 as your text. Uh, if you think it was the worst thing ever, 20388. Um, so, my name is Bamble. I did Yellow Shirts uh, six times between 03 um, and 09. Uh, quick speech is a good speech, so let's go through those years one by one. In 2003, we broke out of our shell with Sam Mackay. Chase Morgan did Yellow Shirts for the seventh time. The newsletter that existed at the time was actually posted out to Yellow Shirts because not everyone had email yet. Um, we got our Yellow Shirts on training day one because we had to do enrolments. Um, when students actually came on campus to get enrolled, that's right, they didn't quite have the internet working yet. Our campus at Milson Island, where there were three hospitalizations that year, and let me remind you, it was on an island and really hard to get people off the island. It was also the last time we had camp on Milson Island. Um, training day two went for half a day. O-week was only four days long, but the Faculty of Commerce welcome was on the Monday, so there were still some yellow shirts on campus that day. And the Guild and the O-week each had a competing O-week coming along. Um, the Guild tried to sell Fairy Floss for 50 cents. The yellow shirts were selling it for free, so I guess who won? In 2004, we started the commotion with James Yao, a.k.a. Yowie. Skirman did yellow shirts for the sixth time. Campers of my Una Bay for the first time. We had alliterated squad names. Um, uh, Cam Hollows and his combi squad brought an actual combi to O Week and it kept coming back for quite a few years. Um, and the Monday of O Week became official, though not yet compulsory for all yellow shirts. In 2005, we made ourselves at home with Mike Richards and Ginny Skirman did yellow shirts for the seventh time. Sandra Penman, the plumber, introduced us to Webbles. Uh, it was water, energy, uh, fun, loving, and sunscreen. Food, food, uh, loving, and sunscreen. Um, uh, Lisa Horsley introduced us to Pony, which was by a narrow margin the best thing ever. Our week became compulsory for the full five days for all yellow shirts. We also discovered in 2005 that Jace Morgan is apparently not real. Uh, in 2006, we found our groove with uh, Sandra Plummer, now Penman. Cam Hollows did yellow shirts for the sixth time. We were introduced to Web Design OT Portfolio with Ken Liu. The union became rebranded The Source. Um, OT were first assigned double squads. Free pancakes over there. Over where? Over there, uh, was added in lyric form for the first time. Um, uh, Bridget Poon, who had a strange fascination with Febreze and baby powder, added shaping to Webbles, making it Webbles. Um, o Week Radio was trialled and failed miserably, unfortunately. The, the law building, which was under construction, had a construction wall around it, which was turned into this amazing graffiti wall that required a really long extension cable for the overhead projector in order to draw on uh, the stencils for the artwork and the timetable. Um, we were first introduced to daytime and evening hubs and uh, the Lava Labs won O Week. In, two, in 2007, uh, we had Your Space, Your Style with Jeff Forrest. Kirsten Hunter, Jeff Forrest and Steve Lake each did yellow shirts for the sixth, sixth time. Uh, we were introduced to Clubs and Stalls Integration OT Portfolio with Tom Rosser. Um, the OT retreat happened for the first time. VSU Voluntary Student Unionism was introduced, but O Week still happened. The union and the guild merged to form ARC at UNSW. Ninja became a noun, a verb and an adjective. Hats replaced bucket hats, return shirts got their own training sessions, squad events first happened, the combi van made its last appearance at O-Week after many years, uh, yellow shirts went to Cobra for the first time, um, shirt washing as a term first came up, which for you youngsters, let me explain, that section at the back of the manual with everyone's faces that everyone gossips about, okay, OT told us we weren't allowed to do that, so the night at the bra house when we did that, and we were also washing our yellow shirts, we said, oh, we were just shirt washing, and that's the story. Um, and finally, the uh, post-final party Yumcha happened on the Saturday morning. In 2008, we pressed play with Lee Dunlop. Yeah! Caitlin Hurley, Frank Town, Georgie Cook, Lee Dunlop, Kelly Matthews and myself each did yellow shirts for the fifth time. Slot camp happened for the first time. Um, shirt book was published, so we renamed the section at the end of the manual and it was in glossy colour 
printouts, thanks to some sneaking around by OT late at night in the blockhouse. Um, Dave Balance replaced Crackles with Captain Planet. For the record, chafing is fire. <laughs> Timetable tours were introduced on Fridays to fill the gap of no faculty welcomes, and Paul Schmerman wrote the Faffy song. In 2009, we turned it up with Tom Rosser. I did yellow shirts for the sixth time. We had final circle at camp. Sam Thorpe told us all to enjoy our time in yellow shirts because, quote, the real world is shit. <laughs> Only extreme and a world record attempt happened for the first time. Tom Hughes brought back Quackles. Slot were given iPod touches and the O-Week podcast happened for the first time. And of course, uh, Tom Hughes gave me my favourite part of O-Week that year. Camp, 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 camp. Um, uh, but during all those years, we've made uh, a lot of friends and some really strong bonds. Um, I think the person who uh, explained best the way that we go through yellow shirts and then all move on into the, the big, bright, real world that is shit. Um, was Lee Dunlop in 2008 who said that Yellow Shirts No Week is a lot like the Eagles song Hotel California in that you can check out anytime you want but you can never leave. Thank you everyone.